Hi and uh, welcome to the second session of uh, building a Jenkins pipeline, uh, the pipeline from the from the image. Uh, in this session, I will uh, I will introduce you the Docker images that uh, we will use for our Docker con uh, for uh, launching Docker containers. Um, mainly, we have uh, five uh, Docker images. And each of these uh, images is a set of uh, cut and paste uh, from uh, Docker Hub, so it's perfectly perfectly normal to recognize uh, different parts of uh, of Docker Hub uh, Docker files in uh, in here. So um, uh, all I've done was to to cut and paste the parts that I needed from different Docker files from Docker Hub. Well, uh, each of these uh, each of these images can be used to run a container that supports a Jenkins uh, agent, and uh, you can uh, you can optimize these Docker files by using Docker Hub and Docker Compose for uh, multi-container applications. Basically, this Docker file represents the main Docker file, while the rest of four are extensions of this one. So the main Docker file will uh, contain uh, JDK 8 and uh, Maven, and uh, this container will be used for uh, unit testing. The next uh, Docker file will uh, be used to obtain a container that also uh, can uh, beside JDK and Maven will also contain uh, Postgres. Uh, this is needed uh, uh, for integration testing, so uh, we will use a real, a real database. The next Docker file is uh, also an extension of the first one, and uh, beside the Maven and JDK, it comes with the Sonar Cube. This is needed for testing also. Okay. The next, uh, the next one is an, uh, like a deployment environment. It uh, contains uh, Payara server and um, also contains Postgres and contains a JMeter. Remember that I've mentioned in the first uh, session that we will run JMeter performance uh, tests. And the last, uh, the last Docker file is basically uh, also a deployment environment, also containing Payara, Postgres, JDK, Maven. Only that this time it doesn't contain JMeter. Okay, so uh, this is uh, these are the Docker files that uh, we will use for creating our images. So now um, we have the Docker files, and we can uh, use the uh, we can use them to obtain the Docker images. But before that, we need the Docker machines. Since I'm on Windows uh, Seven, I can create Docker machines uh, using VirtualBox and uh, Windows command line. As you can see here, I've uh, already created four machines. This is a pretty time-consuming task. This is why I speed up the video. Uh, the machines that I've created are the one from uh, from the image. We have the test machine, the performance machine, prod machine, and repo machine. I didn't create any QA or uh, UAT machine. I will uh, I we will actually simulate uh, only simulate this step because uh, I think that. If you uh, if you are able to follow the pipeline, there will be no problem to to provide uh, to provide this step. So uh, I have four machines I've created uh, using the Docker machine create command. You can see here how I've created the repo machine and here the prod machine and uh, the performance machine and uh, the test machine. So basically. At this point, we have uh, four Linux machines that runs on the, on VirtualBox on a single laptop. Of course, they can run in reality. You will run them on 
different servers so now that we have the machines we can go further and uh, we can create we can build the images uh, specifically for each uh, machine okay so uh, in order to accomplish this i need to um, i need to expose the environment of each machine and uh, and uh, fire some uh, commands i will do it for uh, i will show you how i'll do it for one machine and you can uh, understand how how it works for the rest so uh, first of all i expose the environment i uh, i will use here the test machine okay and uh, as you can see here it says run this command to configure your shell i will speed up the things here so it takes some time to to type this command okay so this is the command now uh, i'm able to fire commands against the test machine uh, like we can uh, try to see if there are any containers running or images uh, obviously since this is a brand new machine there is there are not there isn't any container any images so uh, now what i will do is to build the images specific to to test machine so uh, what i have to do is to navigate uh, to the folder that contains uh, the docker file and uh, fire a build command let's uh, let's do it So now I'm in the folder that contains the docker file and I will fire a docker build command. I will name this image as Jinking Agent UT from uh, unit test and uh, I will run the command. Since this uh, will take some while, I will uh, speed up the process until the image, uh, image is done. Okay, so uh, now the image was uh, was built. I will uh, do. I will do a quick uh, quick check. Yeah, the image is here. We can see the Jenkins Agent UT uh, has been uh, has been uh, built. Next, uh, on the same test machine, we will build the image for integration test this time we need the image that contains uh, postgres and the command is the same only th this time uh, the image is named uh, jenkins agent uh, it from from uh, integration test okay so i can fire up this image now and uh, again it will take some time so i will speed up the video again okay now the um, jenkins agent 80 image was created as you can see it here it's time to um, to build the last image on test machine and this is the sonar image i will name it the jenkins agent so and uh, basically again we have to speed up the things okay so the Jenkins agent SO uh, was built and now we have all the images that are needed for our test machine we can start uh, we can proceed further see the uh, check out the source code and um, start our pipeline so see you in the next session. Bye-bye.